afternoon everyone welcome um, if you're new here my name is Tracy Bish and I'm an independent stamp up demonstrator in central Victoria um, I go live every Thursday at 5 Australian Standard Time so I'm just gonna wait a few minutes until everyone pops on I almost popped on about five minutes early so I'm glad I, I waited and I checked the time before popping on okay so hopefully, hopefully <laughs> everyone's had a really great week um, I've been very unproductive this week anyway we'll get back into it I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work my way up <laughs> how's everyone's week been hi joy how are you nice of you to join hi Pam how are you so what's everyone been up to this week we've been doing anything exciting I've just been working so um, I don't, I'm just trying to think I probably should have thought before I jumped on don't think anything really exciting's happened this week it's been same old same old Pam happy birthday it's Pam's birthday today and I'll let everyone know later on so they can all wish you happy birthday but hopefully you've had a really great day and at least got some cake or you've got some cake tonight that'd be nice you've been working oh that's no good although we need money don't we <laughs> Hi Marion, how are you? Hi Sandy. How's everyone's week been? It's actually been a, a bit of a weird day today, I think. We had um, a, quite a bit of sunshine and then it would clouds would go over the sky and, and it'd get cold. So, hence I haven't taken my jacket and my jumper off yet today. I thought I would have probably taken it off a little bit earlier, but it, it got cold. Um, hi Sandy, how are you? Oh, Pam, you got taken out for lunch and did some shopping. Fantastic. Hi, Carolyn. Fantastic. Oh, that's really great. Oh, it's nice to, to be able to do something a little bit um, special for your birthday. Um, okay, so what am I just, just trying to think of what else I can talk about today? Um, it has been really, really quiet. <laughs> quiet in the shop, quiet in our town, so... Um, not much going on, which is, which is good. Sandy says all good, bit cold today. Yeah, okay, I'm glad someone else felt it because I've had a few people come in the shop this afternoon and they said it was a lovely day and I thought, mm, I was cold. So um, I didn't have a heater buddy today taking on my heater. So uh, if you follow my social media, you might notice sometimes I have my dogs will come out and sit in the office and um, our little dog Pippi, she sometimes takes over the heater. She's so funny. All right, well, welcome everyone. I'm so glad that I've got everyone here. Um, so now that we've got 10 people on, let's just talk about, um, it's Pam's birthday today. So please welcome and say uh, happy birthday to Pam. It's um, a very special day for her. Hi, Amanda. Been nice in the office today. Yeah, fantastic, Carolyn. Hopefully you've been a little productive. Hi Chrissy, how are you? Alrighty, so we might just get straight into it. Um, as you're saying, happy birthday to Pam, that's fantastic. I love that I have this great little community here. So um, if I don't know that it's your birthday and you've had a birthday throughout the week, please let me know. So I'm happy to um, give you a shout out. Hi Rachel. Excellent. All right, so let's pop the camera around as everyone's saying hello. Hi, Ingrid. You're good, Chrissy. That's fantastic. All right, give me a sec. Um, I need to just flip this camera around. There we go. For everyone that's just popped on, how was your week? Have you done anything exciting? Do you have any news for us all? Alrighty. Alright, so Sunday's Facebook challenge this week I think stumped quite a few people. Uh, I love the projects that you've all come up with. You've all been very, very clever. I know there's a few more that haven't completed their project yet and it'll be out soon, I'm sure. 
I have loved every project that you've put up. You have um, done amazing and, and outdone yourself. You really have. I heard a few people say <clears throat> that it was that you made a few mistakes as you went, and that's crafting. Just keep going, keep trying. And the more times you do it, the easier everything becomes. So um, you could also just do a very, very simple shaker card like I've done here with the layering circle dies. Um, you can make them easy or you can make them hard. And I will say, go over and check them out because some of the ladies have made um, some really intricate ones. They have done an amazing job. Um, Marion says, yes, four attempts, two to keep. <laughs> it was a hard one. You, ladies, you have done yourselves proud. It was so good. Hi, Jane, how are you? So this is the card that I created using the Bee Jolly stamp set. Um, and I think this is the only Santa stamp set in the mini catalogue. Correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. And I even was able to grab some of the old glitter that we had through stamping up many, many years ago that's been sitting in my cupboard. So it's a great way to use up some of the supplies that we already have in our cupboard. If you'd like to join in the challenge, you can use any product you have. It doesn't have to be stamping up if you don't have any. Don't feel pressure that you have to have stamping up all the latest stamping up products. Use whatever you have on hand. It's all about creating. It's about having fun and sharing your creativity. So please go over and um, create a project and then pop it in the comments section. We would love to see uh, your project for each week. And every Sunday there is a new challenge. So it's always plenty of inspiration to be using. Um... And I know I just missed something. Hi, Lisa. How are you? All right. So that is what's on offer for this week. New one on Sunday. So go and check that out. Okay. The join offer. We only have a couple of weeks left of this wonderful join offer. It um, is a normal starter kit that you can purchase for um, $169, you get to choose $235 worth of product, which is $66 for free. The first box or your first order is shipping free. And you also get to choose a free bundle. Now, these are the bundles that are on offer. They are selected from the uh, mini catalog. You can save yourself a ton of money and get ready for Christmas all at once by purchasing the starter kit and choosing one of these free bundles. Um, I know a lot of people are really worried about purchasing the starter kit and the minimums and everything like that. If you've thought about joining or purchasing the starter kit, but you have questions or you would like to talk more about it, um, I'm happy to talk this weekend with everyone. Leave me a message, send me an email, send me a message and um, we'll do, do a group join up. I know it can be a little bit daunting, but one thing that I really want to let you guys know is there is not like you're signing up, but if you don't make the minimums, it doesn't matter. You just drop and you become a customer again. You're not signing up and you have to purchase a certain amount or, you know, there's fines or anything like that. It is just a membership and you can lapse at any time if you can't keep up. So um, absolutely no pressure but who wouldn't want the discount? And 20% discount is your starting rate. And oh my goodness, it's the best thing that I've ever done is joining Stamping Up. It's a really great company. The community is wonderful. And my Inky Stampers team that we have, we have um, a really great little group that's very supportive of each other. We get together every single month and we do a challenge or some crafting and chatting. And it's just lovely. It's really nice to have crafty friends. Um, like-minded friends that you can get together and um, just craft with. So if you're interested, please shoot me an email or a message and we can arrange a time on the weekend to chat it through. Um, hi Deirdre, how are you? Lots of birthday messages, that's fantastic. Okay, the celebration. This little catalogue here, this only has two weeks left. So same time as our joining offer, the celebration is only around for another two weeks. This is where you get a free item for every $90 here in Australia if you choose to uh, purchase. 
there's wonderful products in here and we're actually using five tonight on our projects so we have the bedazzling paper we're also using the peaceful print 12 by 12 paper and counting sheep and the sheep dies we're doing two projects tonight everyone too so if you're wondering what we're going to do with all those products and also the delicate dahlias so lots of projects or lots of products to show you as we're crafting but um, yeah you only have two weeks to get these free products in your order once they're gone they're gone so it is while stocks last but um, as far as I know there's nothing that has sold out yet so you've still got a little bit of time but don't wait until the last minute because sometimes they do go um, out of stock and if you want to place an order, please use the hostess code. I've got a couple of offers on at the moment. So the main offer that we have every single uh, month is the bundle tutorial. Hi, Glenda, how are you? Hi, Anita. So it is packed full of, oops, let me take those out. Packed full of wonderful projects. They're 3D projects as well as cards using all product from Stamping Up. It comes with full of color photos the products used as well as all the dimensions and the directions so you're getting a ton of information there if you sign up through me and be part of my team my team members actually receive this as a free gift every single month as well and this is the card using um, the harvest meadows dsp so that is one of the prizes or the customer items for purchasing through me the other one is this gorgeous little Halloween treat idea we created this a couple of weeks ago on our live so you may have seen that one already and also my um, order actually come from a, uh, from stamping up so it's taken three weeks to get here and so the other offer that I have at the moment for purchasing with me using the host code is this one here you're getting a free sampler pack for an order of over a hundred dollars now, this is before postage, so um, it's just on product of $100. Let me go through what's in this little kit. So I have some of those beautiful stars. Now these are from, and I only opened the kit today because it only come today. Let me just have a quick look at what it's called. They are the Cute Stars Adhesive Backed Sequins. So these ones here, you're going to get a strip of each of the three colours. So there we go. Also got some of the Memories and More cards. So some big ones. Great for Christmas. So you could do an album or even just cards with these. Some great cards in here. So you're getting a sampling of the cards. And these are double sided very traditional colors there so there's those ones you also get a tombstone 3d box so this goes together to create a tombstone and also a sampling pack of that um, cute Halloween designer series paper this is gorgeous I love this one and you'll see a lot of projects coming out from me using this um, designer series paper so I've got a lot of projects coming out really soon. So you'll get a selection of the DSPs as well. So two, four, six, eight pieces of six by six. So that's a nice little extra incentive um, for shopping and placing a $100 order. There's also gonna be two their stickers from that um, Memories and More pack. So that is also on offer for anyone who's shopping with me this month. Okay, let's move them all out of the road. The stamp with Tracy class, now that finishes next week on the 20th. So you still have a little bit of time to sign up for that one. There is the Whimsy, Whimsy and Wonder class, this one here. I have shown you all the projects, so you'll receive the PDF as well as the video tutorial. Um, a quarter pack of the Whimsy and Wonder DSP. This is beautiful specialty silver foiling paper. So a quarter pack, there's so much in there. 
and you won't use all these in the projects you have tons left over as well you also get a third of a pack of the wonderful snowflakes these are beautiful and you've got tons of room to use for punching or um, die cutting you'll also receive a full bolt of the blushing bride frayed grow grain ribbon so really really pretty um, I am I am using the heartfelt wishes stamp set with that one so if you're doing the online only version you'll need these products to create the class um, if you're doing the subscription based class or the um, the one month only you'll receive these products but you will need the heartfelt wishes stamp set so um, everything will come embossed and die cut for you okay i have shown you that um the, those projects and if you're interested i do have a youtube video out explaining all that for you so go over and have a look at those so it comes in three cards there is a fun fold in that card there's also um a treat box and a bag so sorry a box so lots and lots of goodies there with that one Miss Sue is looking at you, keeps running to the door. <laughs> Probably because Coda's home. Marion, he's just popped his head in, but I don't know whether he's staying. Uh, are there some recipe cards from the Memories and More cards? Yes, there is Memory and More recipe cards. Let me just... I'll just grab that kit. Because in that kit, it does have stickers which are really cool. And then you have Sorry, I'm just trying to find that other one. So that's the recipe card I think that you're probably talking about. And I think there might be Let me have a look. I think there's four of each card. Yeah, there's four of each card. So there's four recipe cards in that pack, if that's helpful for you, Rachel. All right. My desk is a shambles already and we haven't even started crafting. <laughs> so, um, yes, yeah, so you have till the 20th to sign up for that Stamp with Tracy class. Now, the um, Simple Sweet Stampers Tutorial Bundle, that's this one here, that is available over on my blog. It's $9.99. It's an instant download once you pay through PayPal. There are 12 projects in here using the Harvest Meadow Suite. And I'll just show you my beautiful little project here. It's a great little treat box using the suite. And it holds three Cadbury chocolates. So I love making little little treat holders so that one there is available so when you um, actually sign up on PayPal it takes you instantly to the download if you're interested okay the Christmas whimsy card kit these are the new card kits or the Christmas kits that are in the mini catalog so we we do have two, but only one is available right now. I'm just trying to find it. Here it is. So this one has just become available. $33, you can purchase that in my online store. If you know of people who um, would like to create their own cards, but don't have the skill sets or don't want to go out and purchase hundreds of dollars worth of craft items to create some Christmas cards, this is a great kit and it's a really great Christmas present as well. Um, perfect for um, the elderly in nursing homes, kids, because Christmas holiday, or the holidays are coming up, so kids need that little extra bit of time to craft. And there's also the kit collection that um, Stamping Up have as well. So if you have family members that are going on school holidays soon, it might be a perfect time to purchase them. There's also the Paper Pumpkin Kit Expressions in Colour. This one is available now as well. I have put in an order, um, hopefully I don't have to wait three weeks for that as well, but um, 
I'll let you have a guys have a look at it once um, it comes out. Now, if you're purchasing any of these two through my online store, I'll also be providing some alternative projects to create with that kits as well. So um, that should be fun. I'm looking forward to getting those and having a little bit of a play. Um, I'm also doing for next month's Stamp with Tracy class. I'll have more information next week because um, the registration will be open for it. I'm doing a class with Wendy Cranford. We are doing a boxes and bags Christmas class. It's using the Sweet Stocking Suite. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've seen all the projects. You're going to love them. They're awesome. Um, so if you're interested in that, keep an eye out for that. If you haven't signed up for my emails yet, go over to my blog and do that because you'll get information sent out to you in your inbox that will have all the information on the classes that I have available. So please go over and do that. That's a ton of fun. Alrighty, I think that was all I had to go through. I did create a, um, a few cards this week for new team members. Look at this. This is um, one of the free items, uh, textures and frames in the celebration catalog. And it's perfect for my team. My team's called the Inky Stampers. So what's better than Inky Stampers than splotches? So nice, bright, fun, happy card. I just wanted to give you a quick show on how beautiful that one is. I was really proud of that one. So let me show you the five products that we're using on today's projects. These are all celebration products. Um, thank you, Sandy. Hi, Lisa, how are you? Hi, Kathy. I'm just trying to make sure I haven't missed anything. You're doing yours this weekend, looking forward to making an awesome Jeanette. You loved the class, thanks, Sandy. Hi Fiona, I'm not sure whether I said hello to you before. Don't think so. All right, I'm caught up. So we have the Delicate Dahlias. This is a photopolymer stamp set. There's 12 in this set. And this is what we're gonna do with our first card. So let me just quickly bring in the card to show you. It's this one here. And this was actually a color challenge with, um, that Wendy Cranford had up. She had Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Balmy Blue and Pacific Point. So I actually created this card uh, for her challenge. So we're going to be doing that. This one is using that beautiful stitch, greenery, stitchery green. Let me have a look. I've got it here. The stitch greenery dye, which I've used um, previously here on Facebook Lives. This is gorgeous. Look at the detail. Very, very pretty. And I've also used these uh, tailored tag dies, tailor made tag dies. So these ones here, and I've used that largest squarish tag. So, yeah, really nice card. So that's the one that we're going to create first. But let me show you the other products that we'll be using as well. So the Counting Sheep, this is a stamp set with a $50 order. The Dahlia's stamp set, Delicate Dahlia's, is $180 order you can choose that as a free gift this one here is a fifth uh, sorry a ninety dollar one hi angie and um, this also has a corresponding sheep dies so so cool so you can purchase get these two as a free item with 180 dollar spend on an order which is so cute i'm also teaming it up with the bedazzling six by six paper in my sample, I haven't used this one, but I thought, you know what, let's bring that bedazzling paper out and we'll pop that on that project. So we're gonna do that tonight. And lastly, we have the Peaceful Prints Designer Series paper. This is very traditional colors. We have, it's almost like a farmhouse um, theme with reindeers, very nice traditional colors, the black and white gingham really really pretty so that's that's this kit here full pack of 12 by 12 and as you can see i haven't used hardly any of it so i'm gonna have to get moving and start cra crafting some christmas cards with it so let me show you the project that we're going to use with those products and like i said this one doesn't have the bedazzling paper but the one we're going to create tonight does so this is the card but it opens up. 
opens up and it fits a gift card in. So it's a gift card holder as well as a card. Isn't that cool? I love it. Hi Diane, how are you? Hi Becky, nice to see everyone on here. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be a really fun one to create. So we're gonna start with the Dahlia one first because it's a little bit easier. And I have done a little bit of the work already just because um, I thought I'd just make it a little bit easier. So I have a balmy blue card base. This is half an A4 piece. I have folded and scored it and then run it through the cut and emboss machine with that greenery. I'm never going to get that name right. Stitch greenery. Stitch greenery dye. Really pretty. You could also do this as a, a matting piece because it's it goes all the way through. I don't think it matters. I think it looks good. I've also got a die cut with that large tailor-made dies in basic white and I've actually used um, thick with that one and then I've also gone through with that same die this is the Suttles um, 6x6 um, designer series paper stack so just to tie it all in then we have a piece of garden green that we're going to do a little sentiment with and then I've got just some basic white here that we're going to do our stamping of all those little flowers. So let's get in and we'll get started with those uh, all our stamping. So we're using Green Apple Green, Daffodil Delight and Pacific Point. I haven't used any of the Balmy Blue ink but I think we've got enough Balmy Blue there as it is so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to start off with the Pacific Point and I'll show you that stamp set again just to show you what we're using on it. This is beautiful. This gives a real lifelike look to the stamp. So we have a very detailed image as well as an outline. And we have that with both the large flower, the small flower and the leaves. And then we've got some really great sentiments, a really nice sympathy one. So if you have to make a fair few sympathy cards, this one is a beautiful sentiment. And then there's a little leaf one here as well. So we're going to use that. I'm going to actually stamp off um, our image. And I'm also going to bring in my mat because it is the photopolymer. I like to give that little extra cushioning as well. You just get that better stamped image. So we have our two stamps here. I'm going to use that solid image. And we're going to stamp that one off first. I don't think many people would probably stamp the Dahlia in Pacific Point very often, but why not? There's plenty of flowers out there that are blue. Jeanette loves this set. Yes, I think I really haven't used it enough, but it is really pretty. Let me show you the detail that it sets off. That's absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to go and try and work out where it lines up. And I know there's a trick to this. Yep. So there's actually a few uneven petals in this and that's how you line yourself up. So let's ink this up. Going to try and line these up. I can't get quite over because of where the camera is, so if it's a little off, that's why. But we'll try and get it as best as we can. And you know what? I don't think it really matters if it's off a little bit. Look how beautiful that is. Very cute. So we have our Pacific Point one. We're going to bring in the Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to stamp three of those little tiny flowers there and for the ladies that really didn't like all the fussy cutting last week guess what we're going to do again today we're going to fussy cut a little bit more so just stamping that one off and this actually gives a bit of dimension just by stamping it straight down but i wanted it a little bit lighter so you could stamp straight over 
and and it'd show more image and by that I mean I'll show you on this one Let's see if we can line I didn't really line that up but you see how you've got that extra dimension and texture in there by not stamping it off so if, if that's what you prefer but I really wanted something that um, was quite light oh that's way off but it's not gonna matter much better and way off again all good nothing's ever perfect everyone <laughs> Just time consuming with the fussy cutting, yeah. That's okay. I think it's okay if you're not gonna create a ton of cards. I would never create, you know, 10 cards doing this same thing. Oh, and I just fumbled on that one, so let's stamp that again. And I'm gonna need two of these. And I just stamped it in. I don't like that one. There we go. Beautiful. And this gives a really good image as well. Lots of detail. So just coming back through with our detailed one. And even though that one didn't turn out too well, it actually doesn't look too bad. And I've just got to run and grab my scissors. My daughter's taken my other pair and I was using them today. So one sec. Sorry about that. I had to get them to um, pop that kit together. So with our leaves here, we're actually going to um, use two, but not all of one. One's sort of going to be partly hidden. So what's everyone watching on TV? Have you been watching anything exciting? I've just gotten on the Survivor Australia bandwagon and I know it's just finished here, so don't tell me who wins because I've only I'm only I think four episodes in. I try not to watch anything that I'm going to have to wait weekly for anymore. It's hard, isn't it? We've all gotten to the point where we're quite impatient, but I'll certainly wait um, until a show's finished before before I'll watch it each week. I don't know how we coped two years ago. Really don't. Mask Singer. How long's that been for on for Jeanette? Have, you, have they actually come out and unmasked anyone? I always think it's it's always good to to see who they get on. I'm I'm not really big into any of the um, singing shows but I know people that love the voice so we've got our two leaves and quickly do our three little flowers and these can be pretty roughly cut there's no dye or no punch for these I probably could have stamped them straight down on the tag, but looks nicer. So has anyone picked up that this is straight cased from the Celebration Catalogue? Hi Renee, how are you? They've unmarked two. So who have the singers been, Jeanette? So this, this actual card can be seen in the Celebration Catalogue. 
I'll just change the colors up but everything else is the same so the catalog is full of great ideas that you can case you can change things up or um, change colors change stamp sets up they're great for sketches and I highly recommend using your catalogs for them and I will admit I keep all my old catalogs for that reason because I can go back and see a design a sketch and um, change to what we have out and about at the moment so we have our three let's go around our big one. Oh, I was supposed to stamp this on that let's bring that again Oh, you know what? I'll just do half of it. <laughs> so you can either stamp it on the tailor-made tag or you can stamp it off and fussy cut. I created this card a couple of weeks ago. That is my defense. Not a very good one, but I like to change things around for you. <laughs> Vinnie Jones, never heard of him. Did they say what he was from? George Columbaris was the other one. Okay. So they're not even using singers, they're using all sorts of people. Interesting. I suppose you'd be a little bit um, pushed just using Australian people at the moment with not many overseas visitors. I wonder if they change their voices around a little bit. Because I don't know about you guys, but I cannot sing. And if I went on something like that, it'd sound awful. So, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that can't sing. I'm just going to cut off that other bit. So I could definitely use this part on another card. That's cool. All right, so we're going to do some um, white embossing, heat embossing. The stamp I've used is Thank You Kindly, but like I said, there is quite a few sentiments in that stamp set that um, are really beautiful that you could use. Deirdre loves this set, yes. So I'm going to ink it up with Versamark ink. Jeanette loves the costumes. Yeah, they go all out, don't they? It's crazy. So I'm not seeing no Survivor fans, or you just don't want to wreck it for me, maybe. So I've got some white embossing powder. We're going to pop the heat tool on that really quickly, just to melt it. <laughs> okay now this just comes together pretty quick as we put it together so I'm going to use some liquid glue I'm going to glue our two tags together but they're going to go off on an angle just like that so I'm just going to add A little bit of liquid adhesive. Can pop our dahlia on. 
I love it in the Pacific Point. Pacific Point is one of those colours that I actually don't use too often. But I don't know why, because it's a really pretty, pretty blue. Really nice. And I've got it going out the other way. Oh my goodness. What else could I do wrong? <laughs> we'll arrange it any way we like. Now pop that one down. We're going to stick one of our flowers down. I can still stick it in underneath, so it'll be fine. And also our leaves. That's cute. I'm gonna bring some dimensionals in to pop on that last Daffodil Delight flower. Change our minds. Thank you so much, Jeanette. <laughs> I can own my mistakes though, it's all good. Um, so we're going to banner cut our ends. And I think everyone knows me well enough now that why not, I definitely can't create something twice exactly the same. Just does not happen. But it gives you guys choices. You can choose what way you'd like it. So then we're going to stick this down and in the middle and I'm going to stick some dimensionals on the backing to pop him up. Cute. I don't think it needs any more pop-ups, so we're just going to liquid adhesive down our tags. Like that. And I'm using the linen thread. I'm just going to grab a bit. A little bit of glue there, that's not good. I haven't glued this all the way down, so I'm just going to wrap that through the centre. You could just do a really nice bow and stick it straight on top. Oh, Angie, you're not feeling well. Did you get bitten by a snake? I can't read. I can't read the, um, the full amount, Angie. If you got bitten by a snake, that's not good at all. Or was it a spider? I'll have to check your comments after I finish. Angie, I, um, I can't see the rest of your comment because it logs me out of comments if I hit see more. Don't know why. So I've been able to wrap that round a few times. I'm just gonna do, I'll do a knot and then I'm gonna tie, tie a nice big bow. Linen thread with the with this set it looks really nice and let's just chop off a little bit of the tails as well that is such a quick and easy card once you get all your fussy cutting done look at that Beautiful. And let me just show you that card from that celebration. Um, there we 
There it is, just there. It's the same, same card, just different colours. And look how good it looks. Really, really pretty. All right, so that is our first project. Don't forget to leave a comment. Um, give me a thumbs up. Like it. If you're watching the replay, make sure you do the same as well because that way you'll go on the draw for next week to win it. And I'll be giving away both projects next week. So I've got some glue on my desk and I really just want to get rid of that before I start the next one. That liquid adhesive, I don't know, I seem to always pop it everywhere. It's usually all over my hands. <laughs> so let me bring in this next project, this one here. So cute. Oh, thanks, Becky. You like the blue tones? Yeah, I need to use the Pacific Point a lot more than I do. So you'll find all the measurements over my blog, oh, sorry, on my YouTube channel tomorrow. I'll have them all listed. There is way too many to go through right now. And I've done a lot of the die cutting already. This die set has some wonderful dies in it. And I just want to bring this in to show you because, because we're not die cutting tonight. Um, I want you to see what is in it. So there are three sheep dies. There's two clouds, a uh, fence or a gate, balloon, a banner, party hat, and sun. So there is tons in this and it coordinates really beautifully, obviously with the counting sheep stamp set. So this one here, we have some good little images as well as sentiments. And I highly recommend this set. I think this is perfect. I love my critter sets, but this one is good for farmers. It's good for kids. Who doesn't love sheep? They're crazy. So I'm gonna start off from underneath. So we're starting off with a basic white cardstock and some of that Peaceful Prints designer series paper. And I'm just gonna glue those two together because the less pieces I have on my desk to lose, the better I'll be. And this is really pretty paper, this garden green on both sides. It's really nice. And that just gives us that nice little border all the way around. Beautiful. I have a piece of that dazzling, bedazzling paper that I'm gonna stick behind here. So I've got that there. Then we have this piece of basic white thick cardstock and I can tell you um, it's five and seven eighths by four and one eighth and we're going to score it at three and six inches so three inches and then six inches So let's fold and score on that one. So one goes down, this one comes up, and it's gonna be just shy of um, this score line. Because if it was the same, if it was nine inches and we scored at three and six, it wouldn't go together. So it needs to be just that little bit shy. All right, so we have our pieces that we can start popping together. I'm gonna to work on, let's see. There are my front pieces. Let's work on this gift card area. So I have these two. So we have garden green and that peaceful print. I'm going to glue those two together. Then I'm gonna bring a punch in and just punch out. So we've got a, a bit of a thumb hold there. And that just helps to pull it out a little bit. There's not a lot of wriggle room on this gift card. So you've got to be a little bit careful. Hi, Nikki. Oh, that's okay, we're on our second project, but you can catch the replay at any time. Not a problem. Okay, so let's grab a punch. I'm gonna grab, I've got the one and three eighths, but use whatever you have. You just want a fairly decent size punch. And I think that's centered. 
Then I'm going to grab some tear and tape and just run around the edges. And you wanna go right along the edge um, because like I said, there is not a lot of room for that card. And before I put my sides in, I'm actually gonna take the tear and tape from the bottom and then stick the sides down. So I did die cut all my pieces before because I thought this card will take forever if I don't. But it's just using all those dies from the sheep die set. So we're going to pop that down on that bottom piece, giving it a nice little border all the way around. I hope I'm still on. I think the internet just just went out. Are you all still there? Okay. So once you get this in, you may have to um, just wiggle a little bit. It does fit in. Now uh, there's plenty of room. It's not going to pull it up or anything like that. But you do have to just give it a little bit of wiggle room the first couple of times that you stick one in. See, that one went in super easy. Okay, we're going to stamp our sentiment here and I have the... So glad it's your birthday. We're using Garden Green ink for this card. So another, another ink that I don't use too often except at Christmas time. I do like Garden Green for Christmas. And I'm just gonna stamp that off It looked a little dirty, but I think it's okay. Let's try again. Perfect. And then we have our front of our card and then the inside. So I'm actually gonna flip it up and we're gonna do the inside piece now. So I've also got another piece of that bedazzling paper that I'm gonna line up. So it just gives that extra little bling underneath. So let's glue those couple together. And before we put our basic white piece down, I'm gonna stamp that sentiment. Just because this bedazzling paper has a little bit of a texture. If something can go wrong, it will. All right, so let's bring that one in. You're amazing is the sentiment that we're using. Oh good, everyone's still there. Fantastic. I'm not sure what happened then, it was weird. So I'm gonna pop down two of those little banners that I've die cut. And I've done them in garden green. And these are great, because you can use all your little scraps up that are sitting on your desk, or if you have a drawer, however you keep your scraps. I like creating cards using scraps. Because otherwise they can get out of control a little bit. So I could have put balloons in here as well, but the banners are cute. And then this one can be just layered on that DSP. So lots and lots of different layers, but just using that stamp set and die set. So we can pop that flap back up and glue that one down. And I think that looks really, really pretty with the dazzling paper behind it. So cute. Okay, so now we can work on our front. But before we do that, I'm gonna bring in just some basic white cardstock. 
we're going to stamp in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I'm going to do just a little bit of colouring uh, with this sheep. So. that one gonna just pop that to the side for a minute we're gonna bring in the garden green and in that stamp set there's a little um, grass stamp so I'm just gonna stamp some grass down adding a little bit more detail on that green otherwise could probably look a little boring otherwise. Excellent. I like to leave my memento to dry just a little bit before putting the stamping blends on because I find it bleeds quite a bit. So while we're doing that, we can work on this piece so we've got balmy blue for the sky i'm just going to add some liquid adhesive to that the garden green is going to go underneath and i did have to cut off a little bit on my sample so it's just that little bit a little bit larger And although this looks really oh, like a, a harsh line there, once you put the gate in, you're really not going to notice. So I'm just taking off that tiniest of slither. It's probably like a sixteenth, one sixteenth. That's how sh small it is. Here we are. Now we could. Um, Add a little bit of sponging to this with a sponge dauber. I'm going to leave it just like this. But if you want to add a little bit of extra layers and texture, definitely bring your sponge daubers in or um, your blending brushes. They would work as well. We have that. I'm going to prop our... our clouds down so there's two different clouds in this die set and the sun we're going to pop a dimensional on the backing to give that pop up how cute is that Tell me what kid wouldn't love this. So before we stick our little balloon down, I can pop a dimensional on while I've got them right sitting next to me. Let's color in this little sheep. So I'm using stamping blends. I've got the smoky slate, balmy blue, and I've also got the petal pink, the light petal pink for his face. Um, I don't think you could leave it white you could use the ivory. I just thought it was cute with the petal pink. Sorry, that's the shop buzzer that's going off. So I've colored him in. I'm gonna go in with the light smoky slate and just where all those marks are in the stamp, which are like, I don't know, shadows. We're just gonna go in with the light. My husband's home and he obviously hasn't twigged to turn that buzzer off. <laughs> we get used to it, so it's probably more the case. I've got the dark and we're just gonna color in his little hoofs, hooves. And I should have stamped that little party hat. So let's do that really quickly. And I'm just using the balmy blue for that. So I've got the light and dark combo.
And this just brings all those colours together. You could change the colour up if you'd like. Alrighty, so I need those dies out. And we have dies for both. Um, not that one. This one here. So I'm just going to take that over to my cut and emboss machine and cut that really quickly. Hang on one sec. Has anyone got any plans for the weekend? I'm going and doing anything. we don't but um, we might plan something during the weekend so I'm just gonna stick these dies up so I don't lose them and we can start popping this all together so we're going to pop up our cute little sheep we have tons of sheep around our area got some in the out the back in the paddock out the back of our, our house. And we've even got some, so right across from the shop, there is uh, the train station and a park. And then right next to that, there's a paddock and there's sheep in that as well. So we have lots of sheep around. They're so skittish, it's funny. Becky said she was meant to go to Bendigo, but don't have to now as, you did all the bits and pieces today, fantastic. Or you can have a relaxing weekend. Nothing for Jeanette. So we can pop him up. He's dancing around with his balloon. I'm gonna stick the balloon underneath. And I'm going to stick a mini dimensional on his party hat because it's tiny. Saves me having too many issues. Lisa, you're taking meals to your parents in Shepparton. How are they going in Shepparton? That's had a lot of issues. Oh, no worries, Kathy. You can catch the replay, not a problem. So I'm just going to pop his little party hat down. Now, I didn't cut that all that well, but it'll be fine. How cute's that? All right, so let's bring in that base again. We're also going to stick this down onto the bedazzling paper because look at that. Wow. So I'm going to add some liquid adhesive to here. I want to make sure that I put enough on that it sticks well down on that bedazzling paper. It's got that little bit of texture to it. And this has a really nice little border all the way around. What are you cooking, Kathy? I love finding out what people are cooking and, and eating. <laughs> I'm all about food. Okay, so you can either pop that up with dimensionals. We're not going to today. I think because there's enough dimension in here, I'm just going to add another layer of glue. Yeah, Ballarat went into lockdown. Yeah, I think they had four cases, so... Oh, your dad's surgery's been postponed to December. Oh, that's not good. All right, so we have that all down. Now you can create inside and do some writing inside. You've got plenty of room at the back as well that you can write on. So you've got lots and lots of room. For me, I don't like writing in cards too much, so... Here's a little secret for you. I create the cards and my husband writes inside them. 
doesn't matter who it's for, he writes in time all. So, yeah, that's my trade off for him. <laughs> I'll create them, you write inside them. So, that's the card. Really great little gift card holder. And we also had our other card that we created. So, super cute. Love these projects. Hopefully, you've enjoyed them. Thank you for everyone who's stuck with me as well. Hi, Margaret, how are you? All right, give me a sec. I'm just gonna pop the camera up really quickly. Oh, I'm warm. I've got my red face going. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's cards. I'll be back next Thursday with another project. And I think we might have to use the Penguin Place or Penguin Playmates DSP, so I haven't used that quite enough yet. And it's beautiful. So um, if you're after any of the celebration items, don't forget you've got two weeks to get in and get those orders placed. Um, there's some wonderful free items in there. So make sure that you do. It's the best time to do your shopping. And those kits are really great gifts as well. So they've got the kit collection, which you can go over to my online store, have a look at all the kits. Um, really good for kids, for adults, for anyone. So yeah, please go over and have a look at that. Thank you everyone. Yeah, don't forget, if you haven't left a comment yet and you're still watching, leave a comment, um, share this video, like the video, and um, you'll go in the draw to win one of those next week, which is always so exciting. I love to give away my cards. And I think this has been a record for amount of people watching me for a little while. So thank you everyone that's joined me. If you're interested in the joining offer and you would like to chat and learn a little bit more, let me know. I'm doing a very informal chat on the weekend so um, uh, if you would like to join in on that there is no commitment you don't have to sign up if you um, come and join in the chat there is absolutely no pressure at all but um, it's a wonderful deal it's such a great community and yeah I absolutely love everything about it so yeah hopefully you will join me oh you did excellent Carolyn that's great the draw. Thank you. Ah, I'm glad I was starting to read the comments. Thank you, Becky. <laughs> All right, so we did last week's card and so many people have already logged off, so that's all right. Um, this was the card that we made last week with the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set. Love it. I have all the names from last week, so let's do the draw. <laughs> Alicia, you were yelling at me. <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so I'm not looking. Let's grab a name. Joy. Well done, Joy. I do have your address, so I will send this card to you tomorrow. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for yelling at me to make sure I do the draw. I don't know what I'd do, guys, do without you guys. You're amazing. All right, um, I'll be back with another video next Thursday, but come and join in the Sunday Facebook Challenge. There'll be a new one on Sunday. Um, it's always so much fun. So please come over and join in. And yeah, I'll see you all really soon. Okay, bye-bye.